Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another comedian? So hi everybody, my name is Socrates of uh, Socrates and Fur. I am an American. Yeah, thanks, appreciate that. Uh, that's important. This didn't help either, but nonetheless. So uh, let's see if I can do it this way. Huh? If you want to raise it up for me, sure. What's your name? Yorion. Give it up for Yorion! That's what I did right there, thank you. Thank you, early on, fantastic, you must be Dutch. <laughs> Just because you're in Holland and you got to name me a goosey on <laughs> So I'm learning Dutch, I'm trying to get better at my Dutch, I don't speak but so well, I recently had to learn a new word. I uh, didn't want to, but I had to. It's uh, a word, uh, aangereden. <laughs> which unfortunately means ran into. I'll, uh, I'll use it in a sentence. Ik ben aangereden door een scooter klotzak. Which means I was ran into by an asshole on a scooter. <laughs> and uh, hence the little army thing here. It's getting a little bit better, but uh, fortunately, uh, I was never really big on the Nazis, but now it's like, it'd it, it be dangerous, you know? <laughs> Half Jew thing's not a problem, but then, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I had to learn uh, those words that not everybody knows. I, I thought that some people knew it, like uh, feet's pad. Have you heard of this word? <laughs> it means bike path. Yeah, I thought that. Most people knew, 59 year old Dutch guy, didn't know, had no idea what that word meant. And uh, when he drove on the, on the feet's pad, I thought, well, this guy's an idiot. And then the scooter, also on the feet's pad, looking at the uh, Dutch guy, also thinking the same thing. And well, I was going to say, you know, this is a, a bike path and you shouldn't drive a car on it. And as a scooter, you should be paying attention to where you're going. But what I said was, ah! <laughs> And then there was a smash noise, and then I did that song, you know, Fly Like an Eagle. <laughs> that was good. Uh, then there was the crashing and the breaking part. That sucked. Uh, but, you know, I got to do a little bit with the whole Dutch, you know, medical thing. And uh, you know that people say that in the Netherlands, no matter what you have, they give you paracetamol? Yeah. You know, brain cancer? Paracetamol? You know, bullshit. Uh, first thing the uh, medics offered me was fentanyl. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an American. I know fentanyl is a short strip to uh, heroin addiction. I'm not against the heroin addiction. I was just planning it to be later in my life. Because I'm old too. I'm 56. Woohoo, thanks. <laughs> and uh, my first reaction as an American was, no, I don't want fentanyl. I don't, you know, that's not good for you. And then my shoulder was like, you should take the fentanyl. <laughs> and I said, okay, I did. It didn't actually help. It did nothing for me. Uh, but I got to the hospital. They were like, would you like morphine? I actually asked me, did I like morphine? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love morphine. It's, it's a five-star drug, i got to tell you. Fentanyl zero stars. Morphine, that's a fiver right there. And, uh, then they said, more morphine? I said, sure. Sent me home with Oxycontin, and then I got more Oxycontin, more Oxycontin, and then I got even more Oxycontin. So I, I love one of those uh, paracetamol uh, injuries or diseases. I don't, I don't get them. I get the hard drug ones. And, uh, but they didn't really do much for me. I didn't know hips, no cast. This was pretty much all they gave me. So. Had I fallen at the crucifixion, same basic thing. <laughs> Strap a you know, vine around me, don't try to use it. You know. It's what the Dutch call uh, conservative treatment. It's a nice way of saying the Dutch are cheap. <laughs> I, uh, I asked the doctor, so what do you think about my situation? And he said, this is basically a uh, Halas Pindaka situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a helpful thing that the Dutch will take. It means, it means, oh well, peanut butter. <laughs> he was right. I'm not, I'm not saying he wasn't accurate or, or, or definite, but uh, so I asked for a second opinion because I thought, you know, I've already paid my, uh, my deductible, 355. And uh, so I talked to another doctor and he looked at me. He was a little more optimistic. He said, it comes good. <laughs> I never ever heard of this, but this is the whole thing. It comes good. It's not even a good sentence, you know what I mean? You're not even speaking good or well. Either way, there's only one time that's a useful feedback, you know? Is when you're shopping around for a male prostitute. So, uh, how's it work? Huh? Uh,
up, Scoot. <laughs> How about the backside, huh? Uh, hey, last pin the castle. I, uh, but I kind of came up with it. I thought, yeah. <laughs> but I'm on drugs still, so woo. <laughs> Uh, another uh, hard word, uh, if you've ever gone out with a Dutch guy, or if you find yourself one day going out with a Dutch guy, or, or perhaps a Dutch girl, one way or the other, uh, or both, <laughs> thruffles. The hardest word for non-Dutch people to understand, uh, it's the single most confusing word if you hear it. It's a, it's a very useful word, they use it all the time, but it's hard to understand. That word is, uh, <laughs> You can hear that word almost any time. I hear myself saying it while I'm waiting for trains recently. I go, ha hey, hey. hey, I don't even know where that came from. But there's worse times to hear that word, uh, like after sex. I was all right, huh? Hey, hey. You explain that? I mean, I think before sex, even worse. <laughs> But I've been living here since 2009. I personally really love uh, the Netherlands and the Dutch people. Uh, it's a great place. Thank you for having us. All of us expats, we really like it. You guys, you, know, you don't think it's the greatest place. We love it, you know? And it's a weird thing if you talk to people from almost any country. You know, like uh, you ask an American, best country in the world. We still say America. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Russia guy, same thing. And you ask an Indian person, they'll say India. You know, the Pakistani guy corrects him and says, no, it's Pakistan. Did you ask a Dutch person, best country in the world? I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> Hello? Netherlands? No! <laughs> you think? But the weather. Yeah, I know, the weather's crap, so is the food. That's why we do these inside things. That's why we make this something nice. You know, and even though today is nice weather, but you kind of hide it, otherwise we'd all be running back outside. But uh, my favorite Dutch word, of course, the, fav the, the Dutch word, of course, is gezellig. Uh, it's a Dutch word that means it's a wonderful warm evening. And the thing I like about the word gezellig is you can't do it by yourself, you know what I mean? It's, it's a group kind of a thing, you know? You can't just say like, you know, how was your night last night? You know, well, you know, spent the night masturbating. <laughs> it's fun, but it's not exactly gezellig, you know what I mean? I mean, unless you do it in a big group. You know, it could be gezellig, you know? But it's a great Dutch word, though, because it starts with a ch, you know, <coughs> ends with a ch. It's got that zell in the middle, which I like. <laughs> but uh, like in, in Italy, I'm coming back to you because everybody knows you, Francesca. What's the what's your word for my little favorite, my little love child, my little sweetie honey pie, my sugar bug? In American, it's a word that's fattening because if you love something, it should have a heart attack. <laughs> but what's your word for like my little sweet honey pie? No one's listening. Sorry. Tesoro, tesoro, that's a nice sounding word, tesoro. You know, the Dutch went with schatje. <laughs> schatje. Very Dutch. <laughs> I don't get it. And they shrink it down to schka, which doesn't help. Uh, I personally much prefer the word oucha, which is a little onion. <laughs> but my little oucha, who's it with my oucha? Who? Could you be a chima ouchie? It sounds nicer, doesn't it? I like ouchie better. Dutch people don't seem to like it, but I think ouchie sounds better. But I'm, I'm like that, I'm great. But uh, another weird thing about the Dutch I've never quite got as an American is the way they mix their weed and tobacco together. Also, it's a bad excuse as a why, you know, it burns better, it lasts longer, or whatever. I don't know, it gives you cancer. You know, they want the paracetamol. I'm not sure what it is, you know. Not realizing if you rolled a joint, you know, you'd smoke the joint, you get high, you'd be happy it went out because you're bullshit about paracetamol, you know, and not realizing it and just splabbing on and on. You know, they're kind of addicted to the tobacco, you know. So I say, if you could put anything in there, you could mix oregano, it lasts longer, you know. <laughs> they don't do that, you know. But it's like, you could do that with anything. You got that 8% beer, you know. Why don't you put a bunch of water in there, mix that thing down, you know. You go twice as far, you know, it's a good coat. <laughs> That's what we do in the U.S., exactly. We call it Budweiser. <laughs> if that's not enough, we do it down, we call it Bud Light, you know? <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite uh, weird things that Dutch came up with, you know, those wooden Dutch shoes, you know, the wood shoes, and they had to come up with a, a name for those things, you know, you're walking around in them, and clump, 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 clump. What do you call those things? These? Clump, clump, clump. 
mean, Colton. <laughs> a logical name, you know what I mean? I like that about the Dutch. Some things are very logical, some things aren't, you know? It's like uh, the triangle is a driehoek. Three angles, I think it means, right? Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. But the square is a vierkant. Four sides. <laughs> could have been vierangel, could have been vierkant, you know? Certain logic, certain logic, I don't get. You know, like uh, the Dutch word for shoe. They just dutched up shoe and went with schoonen. <laughs> okay, I get the logic in it. But they drop it there, because the word for gloves. <laughs> it's hand schooning. Hand shoes. I don't know. I think they could have done better. That's all I'm saying. But this is about as good as I could have done. So my name is Socrates. You guys have been great. And uh, what a great thing about being out here in the in the in the, in the, in the is uh, is these great shows. I can't say the name. <laughs>